guys welcome back to the channel thank you for everybody that's been subscribing to the channel i appreciate it very much this video is part two of the trolley jack repair i hope you find these videos informative and enjoy it Okay, so the next move obviously guys would be to stick this slot in the vise and see what secrets it holds. Let's crack on. Okay, so I stuck it in the vise like this across this two flats here. So I'm hoping that when I loosen this, that the barrel doesn't unscrew from there. I'll first, I'll first like give it a little crack and see what happens here. If the barrel does move, and I'll probably have to try to hold it here, because I'd like to loosen this nut up first, and then the barrel. But let's see what happens. Okay, so I managed to loosen this up now. I'm expecting some oil to to be coming with this. So let me just put the drip tray at the bottom really quickly. Okay. As I lift this, I'm expecting oil to to come out. Let's see. Okay, no oil. It's all right. Look like we have a seal at the bottom there. And my problem lies inside there. So let's take let's take this gland nut apart. This thing is called a gland nut, by the way. So let's take this gland nut apart. Okay, I think I'm going to just clean this here with a bit of water paper. Quite a bit of rust because this was always exposed to the weather. Okay, that should be right. Now I'm going to slide this gland nut off now. Shoot. There we go. Okay. Right, so there we have the, the gland nut off. If you see inside there, you can see the o-ring. So I think that is the problem down here. See what's the issue? Actually, I see the issue already. Before stripping it, I can see the issue already. I don't know if you can see on the seal there. Let me just see if I can zoom in. There, see, there's a breakage there, and that's where it's been leaking. So I've discovered that these things actually have more than one good use. These are circuit testers. I'm sure everybody, I'm sure everybody have, a, have one of these in their toolkit. But because it has such a nice sharp point, it will be ideal to extract this O-ring. So I'll just stick it in there and do that with it. Okay, there we go. That's out. You can see the kink here, and there is the damage over there. There. That's the damage there. So problem, definitely found the problem, the issue. Now I'm going to just find it in my o-ring kit if I have an o-ring this size. And then I'll replace this o-ring, and I think we should be good to go. Okay, so, like I said... This is a nice sponginess here, so I think my seal is good. I think I'm just going to go for the o-ring on top here. Then we should be good to go. Then I'll obviously clean the jack up. 
and put oil in and assemble so this is the old o-ring so let me just go to my toolkit and see if i have an o-ring like this let's have a look i hope i got one yeah it seems like seems like this could be the one here I found this one also in the kit and it measures 3.8 just like like this one here so I'm gonna to try to use this one I'm just I'm gonna put it in the gland nut so the OD the OD is slightly smaller The OD is slightly smaller, about a, a millimeter or so smaller. But not forgetting that this one is has been stretched and you know stretched and, and deformed. So I'm gonna stick this one in. And then I just want to see how it feels, how the barrel feels going through it. I think it might I th think it might not work, but I'm gonna give it a bash. And I'm gonna try to stick this o in here. Like I said, I doubt if this will work. It seems like this. It's a bit too small, but I'm going to stick it in and see how the barrel slides through it. Okay, so there she's in as you can see. So I'm just going to put a little bit of dishwashing liquid or oil or something on here. And then I'm going to slide it on the barrel. On um, O-rings and rubbers and stuff doesn't do any harm it just makes it nice super slippery okay I'm gonna stick it on the barrel now and see if it will work that seems to be quite fine guys this will definitely work This will definitely work because when she went on, she went on okay. So I think I think we should be good here. Okay, so like I said, I'm not gonna do anything to this to this end here, this seal, because that this jack was pumping okay. That o-ring seemed to be okay. I mean the proof lies in once I assemble it. So yeah. Okay, she should be tight enough. Need to get one more. Alright, so there we go. It's all assembled, should be tight enough. Seal is in, o ring is in. Seal, like I said, I'm gonna leave because she was pumping okay. So now I'll start assembling this unit again. Okay, let me just give them a wipe down. When I mean, you can't assemble the dirty. Also, remember when I when I started dismantling this thing, I said we we'll push it right through. All of them have shoulders like this, so you got to take the nuts of both ends. So there's no way I could loosen the one end and just push it through. Anyway, you live and learn. Alright, so that's cleaner than what it was. Okay, so I just gave it a wipe down as you guys saw there. I mean, this was not like a like a 
complete overall or something to that effect. I, was, I just wanted to solve the issue of the, the jack leaking, which we obviously discovered was the O-ring. So I'm going to start with the assembly process now. And um, let's see, let's hope all goes well. Right, so, so here they all are all wiped down. Gave it a wipe, as you saw. Not going to bother too much with that area, I didn't still wipe that. Just wipe the, the body of it and stuff. The cylinder also just gave a wipe. Um, I think I done, I'm not even sure if I done it off camera or on camera or whatever. Anyway, I gave that a wipe. I'm not going to spray anything, I'm not going to paint anything. I'm going to assemble it again like this. And then put it to the test to make sure that it works. So I've realized that this must go on here first. Okay, so actually what I've realized is when a person put this face on, then all of these things must be in because they're all shouldered. You can't actually actually slide them in because I'm sure you saw me taking this thing apart now to to put this thing in. So yeah, anyway, let's carry on. All right, there you have it, guys. One repaired jack. We'll just put the handle on. I mean, that's like nothing. So I'm going to just get the rod and see if it pumps at least. No oil, so she's nice and dry. Yeah. Well, let's retract it. No free advertising here. Alright guys, so that seemed to have solved that issue. I think the jack is good to go for another few years, I hope. At least I know what, what all entail what all goes inside there. So I hope this was somewhat informative to you guys also, those that have jacks in it and they have been leaking maybe or whatever your your instances are yeah so i'll end this video here don't forget to like subscribe comment and share i'll catch you on the next one cheers for now